Hi everyone, I am Dr. Saundara Raj. I am very happy to interact with you all through this video. In this video, I am going to explain three problems and their related solutions that I have prepared in the chapter Marginal Casting. The problems are related with the calculation of a profit volume ratio, break even point, in units as well as in value, margin of safety, sales to earn a desired profit, and also calculation of profit at a given sales. These are all a couple of details related to my career. After you watch the full video, if you find the video useful to you, give a like to the video and do subscribe my channel so that you get the updates of my future videos. Let's get into sum number one. The profit volume ratio of a firm is 50%. The margin of safety is 40%. You are required to work out the break-even point and the net profit if the sales is 25 lakh rupees. This is a peculiar problem in fact because you are given with the profit volume ratio which you are normally asked to calculate in every problem of marginal casting. Here the PVR is 50% and the margin of safety is given as percentage of sales which is nothing but 40%. You are required to work out the break-even point and also the net profit in a given sales value of 25 lakh rupees. Now how to go about in the problem? See if the margin of safety is 40% of sales, the remaining 60% in a given sales is break even sales. How do I say that? Look at the simple equation. Margin of safety in novel situation is calculated as actual sales minus break even sales. There is other formula also for the calculation of margin of safety which is nothing but profit divided by PBR. Here in this problem, it is good to make use of this particular formula for the calculation of margin of safety. Actual sales minus break even sales. We know that margin of safety is 40% of sales. You assume sales is 100% and margin of safety is 40% of the 100% sales. Therefore, the difference between the two 60% is nothing but break even sales. Now let's further proceed. Therefore, in the given sales value of 25 lakhs, how do we calculate the BEP? BEP is equal to 25 lakhs into 60%, it comes to 15 lakh rupees. So in the given sales of 25 lakhs, 15 lakh rupees sales is a break even point sales. So that is what uh, number one. Number two, calculation of profit when sales are 25 lakh rupees. Note, fixed cost is not given in the problem. If fixed cost is given in the problem, what shall we do? We will first calculate the contribution from the given sales. How to calculate contribution from a given sales? It is possible with the support of a formula. Contribution is equal to sales into PBR. After you calculate the contribution in a given sales, you can subtract the fixed cost and come to know the profit. But unfortunately, this strategy is not possible in this problem because fixed cost is not given in the problem. Therefore, we find out the other way to go about. What is that? MOS is given in the problem as 40%. So we write the formula of MOS, profit divided by PVR. Profit divided by PVR is 40% of 25 lakhs. It comes to 10 lakh rupees. So when the sale is 25 lakh, margin of safety is 10 lakh rupees. Therefore, we apply the possible data in the formula. The margin of safety answer is 10 lakh rupees. PVR is given as 50%. Therefore, the missing figure in the formula is profit. Now, if you simplify this particular calculation, you get Profit is equal to 10 lakh into 50% that comes to 5 lakh rupees. Therefore, when the company makes the sales of 25 lakh rupees, it is possible for it to earn a profit of 5 lakh rupees. This is what about sum number 1. It's a very interesting sum. Please go through the video for a couple of times to understand this. Now, let me take you through the second problem. You are given with the margin of safety 20%, profit volume ratio 60%, Fixed cost is given in the problem that is 60,000 rupees. Find out break even point sales, actual sales for the year, variable cost for the year and profit for the year. These four aspects are to be calculated in the problem according to the questions. Now let's first make use of the formula for break even point. Break even point is equal to fixed cost divided by PBR. You know, we are given with the fixed cost amount at 60,000 rupees. And the PVR is also given in the problem that is 60%. Therefore, 
break even point comes to 1 lakh rupees so bp in value is 1 lakh rupees in the problem now the second one is about calculation of actual sales for the year now let's get into the equation which i discussed with you in the first problem also what is margin of safety because we are given with the margin of safety also in the problem therefore actual sales minus bp sales is equal to margin of safety margin of safety is 20 percentage of sales when the sales is 100 percent margin of safety is what 20 percent therefore the remaining 80 percent of sales is break even sales we know bp which stands for 80 percent is equal to 1 lakh rupees just now we calculated it in the previous step therefore what is actual sales which stands with a percentage of 100 if 80 percent is 1 lakh rupees 100% stands for 1,25,000 rupees. That is what actual sales in the second problem. And the third one is related to the calculation of variable cost for the year. If PVR is 60% of sales, the remaining 40% of sales is variable cost. PVR represents in normal situation contribution in sales. So in sales, if 60% is contribution, the remaining 40% could be variable cost. That's the assumption we have considered here. So variable cost is computed with the formula of sales into 40%. It comes to 50,000 rupees. That is what variable cost of the concern in total for the year. Now calculation of profit for the year. That's a fourth question. To find out profit in a given amount of sales, let us first calculate contribution. Yes. Because you are also given with the amount of fixed cost. If you come to know contribution, you can subtract fixed cost and the balance of contribution could be named as profit. And that is what the idea we follow here. Contribution is equal to sales into PVR. It comes to 75,000 rupees on the sale of 125,000 rupees. Therefore, from the contribution 75,000, if you subtract fixed cost 60,000, which is a known figure in the problem, the balance of contribution 15,000 is a profit the company could earn when it makes a sales of 1,25,000 rupees. The third problem is given here. The information about Raj and Co are given below. Profit volume ratio 20%, fixed cost is 36,000 rupees, selling price per unit 150 rupees. You are asked to calculate break even point in value, break even point in units variable cost per unit and profit on sale of 4 lakh rupees these four items are to be calculated as per the requirement of sum number three so we will first make an attempt to find out the b e p in value what is the formula for b e p in value total fixed cost divided by pvr both are given in the problem what is the total fixed cost it is 36,000 given in the problem and the pvr is 20 percent have a look at the problem right so it comes to 180,000 rupees. That's a BEP in value in sum number 3. After you know the BEP in value, if you divide that BEP in value by selling price per unit, you can come to know the number of units at break-even point. That's the idea here. So break-even point in value divided by selling price per unit, it gives us 1,200 units. That's what break-even point in units. The next one is about calculation of variable cost. If contribution is 20% of sales, how do I say? If PVR is 20% of sales, PVR represents what? Contribution only. Therefore, I have stated that contribution is 20% of sales. Therefore, the remaining 80% of sales is variable cost. So, variable cost per unit is equal to selling price per unit into 80%. So 150 into 80 percent as given as 120 rupees. So when the selling price is 150 rupees per unit, variable cost is 120 rupees per unit. And that is what about the answer for this particular question of calculating variable cost per unit. And the next one is about calculation of profit on sale of 4 lakh rupees. To find out the profit in a given sales, let us find out the contribution first. Contribution is calculated with a popular formula that's nothing but sales into PVR. Sales into PVR has given us 80,000 rupees of contribution. 
when the sales is amounted 4 lakh the contribution is 80000 from 80000 contribution if you subtract the fixed cost 36000 you come to know the remaining 44000 as profit so this is what the idea of uh, the sum number free i hope you have clearly understood the accounting treatment in relation to the calculation of various items in the three exercises thanks for watching this video i will bring out many more videos related to marginal casting bye for now everyone